Hello everyone, this video will walk you through the interoperability between DDS block set and Autosor adaptive applications. I am Abhirash, a developer in control design automation. There are two models here, one is a DDS block set model, which is deployed on development computer that is Windows or Linux. And the other is an Autosor adaptive model, which is deployed on Docker container on Linux target. This Autosor adaptive model is deployed using the embedded code and support package for Linux applications. These two applications will communicate over the DDS network. The output of DDS sender model and input of DDS receiver model are mapped to domain with domain ID 0 and topic name sign. We are using simplistic example models because focus of demo is on interoperability. DDS sender model has one output which sends the data of a sine wave. DDS receiver model has one input which receives the data sent by DDS sender model. These two models are linked to the same data dictionary. Let's open the DDS dictionary to see what DDS artifacts it contains. There is one domain library that is math domain library which has one domain name or trigonometry domain with domain id 0. This domain has a topic sign which is of type wave type. Let's click on the build button in DDS sender model. This generates the code and the executable. Let's migrate this DTS receiver model to Autosar adaptive model. Let's call the migrator API to do that. Here is the Autosar adaptive receiver model which is created by the API. Let's create the API object from model name. Let's verify that the topic name and domain name used in Autosar Adaptive Model Dictionary are same as that are used in DDS model. Retrieve topic name using get method and the topic name is sign. Retrieve domain ID and its value is 0. Let's open the Linux Runtime Manager app and enter the details of Linux target machine and connect to the target. Let's deploy the Autosar Adaptive Model on the Linux target. To deploy, we need to set the toolchain to Autosar Adaptive Linux Executable. Let's make the changes in XCP slave configuration settings. Choose the transport layer as XCP on TCP IP and set IP address same as that of Linux target machine. Now the model is ready for deployment. Let's click on Create and Deploy Software Package button and choose Autosar Adaptive Model. This deploys the model on Linux target machine. Let's open command prompt and start DDS sender executable which sends data of a sine wave. Let's observe the sine data in simulating data inspector. Select the signal to the right side for streaming and clicking on monitor and tune button. Let's open SGI and here we can see the data which is sent by DDS sender application. Let's stop DDS sender executable from command prompt. Now we can see that the value is SGI is 0. Let's stop the adaptive receiver application from UI. And now the application is stopped. For more information, go through the documentation of embedded code support package for Linux applications. So this brings us to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video.